Hey y'all, welcome to Cat's Hobby Corner. Hey y'all, it is mail call today. So we got two packages in the mail and I'm gonna show them both to you. The first package is from Amazon and what it was, I saw one of the farmers saying that they normally use bird netting uh, to keep the birds away from their fruit. So, you know, they've got these big nets everywhere. Well, whatever year this was that I saw their video, um, they said they use scare tape. And it's a shiny tape that um, that uh, they didn't have any issues with birds or a lot of the squirrels and whatnot because the tape flips around and glares light and it scares the animals away. So, we're going to try it. So, this is it. This is called Bird Scare Tape. And I got mine from Amazon. Y'all see how shiny that is? Look at there. And it just flips around in the wind. And birds and uh, squirrels, all these different animals really can't stand this stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna put some up. Y'all see how that light bounces off of there? We're gonna put some of this up around the garden just to kind of help with uh, the birds landing on my tree. I believe there have been birds landing on the blackberry because they see it as little sticks and they're thinking it's a tree. Uh, who knows why they're trying to land on the blackberry, but they are. So I'm thinking if I put some of this on my, on my um, trellis, it will stop some of that activity. And I'm definitely gonna put some over near the strawberries, although I have uh fencing uh netting um uh, what do i have over there chicken wire <laughs> over there i'm gonna try the netting too i think just everything will keep them away from it and um it'll just make it easier around the garden uh without that type of activity them landing on the apple trees because i saw two little apples fell off and i'm thinking it's because they were trying to land on the leaves around i mean the branches on the apple tree so anyway we're gonna try this ticker tape and all you do is cut it off and tie a little section around the branch and just let the wind keep it flipping and doing its thing so i'll let y'all know how that goes it's really pretty though it's really a simple very simplistic method all right guys so we put the ticker tapes out i'm gonna put a few more uh, but that's over here by the blackberries to try to get them to stop landing on mama blackberry the birds also put it down there by the grape uh, vine and i put one strip i'm gonna have to cut one of those strips in half i put a couple over near the apple tree to get them to stop landing on the apple tree leaves because i don't want them to knock the fruit off and I'm gonna put a couple over there near the uh, strawberry bin uh, to keep them from uh, flying over there as well so so far that's what we got going on so hopefully this will deter the birds from landing on top of my bushes and eating the fruits the berries We'll see. All right, secondary. I haven't opened this one yet. All right, our second item, I believe, I believe it is my windmill. I've been telling y'all, I've been having trouble with voles and moles around the garden. Plus, y'all know I'm always talking about adding some decorative color to the garden, which I'm gonna run out of space in a minute, but let's see if this is what I think it is. Slide Mr. K. Yep. 
So this is what I got today, my windmill. So we're gonna work on putting this together and uh, getting it put up in the yard for decorative reasons and for gardening purposes to uh, pest control. I'll put it that way. All right, hang out. And that's going to be our master head, which is one piece. Uh, our A2 leg middle brackets, which are 29 and a quarter or 29 and one fourth inch. And our A1s, which are 28 inches. We're going to put it on opposite sides of the head. Opposite sides of the master head. We'll connect it to the inside here. I'm going to get a screw. fairly easy to screw on so I can tighten all these later but for now just getting them put on all right get a bolt in the other side
Okay, guys. All right, so you know we have this part together. We connected the platform. Okay. Okay, so I need to slide this through the middle here. Hey guys well I didn't get to show y'all step by step by step on the uh, windmill because it was getting dark and I kind of ran out of light then my phone died but anyway guys we got it up check it out it stands nine feet tall and um, I have anchors in the ground securing it ones that you had to hammer in and I'm just loving that it's adding color um to the garden it's been spinning all day y'all also see i got my bird scare tape ticker tape out here <laughs> so i think we are ready a bit for the summer hey guys thanks for visiting cat's hobby corner be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button so you'll get the content as we put up new videos the channel's growing and it's all because of you thanks again